Around 300 people waited patiently at Dunedin International Airport for the Royal Couple to touch down on Sunday morning. Once the Royal New Zealand Air Force jet landed, a lone bagpiper began playing. After the couple disembarked, a group of local Māori performed a pōwhiri, with Mayor Dave Cull welcoming them to the city. Five-year-old Mata Fayo Matahare Vent was lucky enough to get a hug from the Duchess, causing international news agencies to widely report the unexpected embrace. Mata Fayo was meant to curtsy. The nine-car motorcade sped away quickly from the airport, taking the pair to a Psalm Sunday service at St Paul's Cathedral. A large crowd had gathered in the octagon, hoping for a chance to greet the royals, and after the pair came out of the church, the Duchess took a few minutes to talk to well-wishers. Then it was on to Forsyth Bar Stadium, where 8,000 adoring fans were waiting to see what teams the Duke and Duchess would be coaching in the Royal Ripper Rugby Tournament final. All Blacks captain Richie McCaw and Ben Smith were also in attendance to help coach the teams, as well as New Zealand Rugby Seven stars Huriana Manuel and DJ Forbes. Prince William was supporting the under-7s Ripper Rugby team from Clutha, while his wife took over coaching local team Pirates. After the tournament, the Prince thanked the crowd for their warm welcome. Having watched the fantastic Lil Rippers in action, I think I finally found the city in New Zealand where passion for rugby runs deepest. The, atm the atmosphere here this afternoon has been tremendous and long may it continue. A contingent of overseas media was following the royal couple every step of the way on their South Island leg of the trip. After four hours in the city, it was back to the airport and on the jet to the next destination, Queenstown. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.